Hello friends, and here's the screws, and here's how they're going to be attached, and it's going to be 100, and it's 25, 25, 25, and 25. And like the test piece, showing, this is much bigger than the, the ones I tested, but here, I have something to tell you. Uh, one of the comments when I did this on the kids, they said, look up Swedish Boat Sailing Aurora on YT and then the playlist Grounding Repair if you want some professional tips. The above is a comment by SGT Bound on my video on Twin Kids. He is suggesting that I would learn something to use from the professionals. I am glad I looked because this is what I saw. A 40 feet Hanse had hit a rock in good weather and the damage was enormous. It took a year or so before they were back in the water. It was not the first time I heard about big boats hitting rocks. 2020 in Porto Santo, I met a Swedish Halberg Rassi, 42 feet long or so. They had left Las Palmas a year before, but the first day out, they had hit a rock. Also, their boat had to be lifted out and have extensive repairs done. Each of the two boats lost a year or so. Before, I had not realized just how much damage a grounding did. The Sailing Aurora videos was very educational. I'm glad that I looked up those videos, those well-made videos. Let me see. This is one page. Sizes. You didn't read the last section. Oh. It turned out that there is a whole industry doing nothing else but fixing production boats that have run aground. In my childhood, before there were production boats, running up on a rock was no big deal unless it happened in bad weather. Three sinks make production boat brittle. Their size, typically 40 feet long and 10 tons displacement. Sizes, that big boat, Sizes that big boot makes, sizes that make big boots weak. Reason is the square cube law that says that the strength increases only with the square of the scale, while the deforming forces increase with the cube of the scale. Double the scale and the strength increases four times, but the deforming forces increases eight times. Another thing is that the Kinetic energy increases with the mass times speed squared. I estimate that XLEC, my present cruising canoe, with one ton of displacement, will have an average speed of about three knots. That gives her a kinetic energy of three squared times one, and that is nine. A 40 feet production boat with a mass of 10 tons may sail at a speed of six knots. That gives her a kinetic energy of six squared times 10. That is 360. That is 40 times as much living energy as my boat that will be stopped by hard object. Then there is the key geometry. x leading edge is looping 45 degrees while the leading boat production boat, it's nearly vertical, they go like straight up, nearly. x is those likely to slip over obstacle that will stop a production boat. So this will not be stopped, it will just slide over. Structurally, the two kills are also different. The depth of a production kills is about the same as the her base. The depth of x kill here is like 25 centimeter but she's 155 long. So, 
the ratio is 25 to 155. This is their six times as long base as the depth. So that makes my boat so much stronger. People pay much for production boats. Boat owners like to believe what the salesmen tell them. For example, Aurora owner says, this boat is category A, ocean. Therefore it's made for weather stronger than force eight. This is actually completely wrong. The recreational directive do not say that. It says that category is good for winds up to and including for say, and not for stronger winds. There is no way economically produced big boats can be made to cope with storms and the boating industry knows this very well. Category A is designed to be able to make longer passes during which the wind can exceed force A. Storms, severe storms and big waves are excluded. To me, this is absolutely crazy, but I'm not in the boating business. I'm a boat building amateur. The word amateur comes from the French language meaning to love. I build boats because I love it not to make money. x lex is designed to be able to make long ocean passages in any weather conditions, including severe storms. She will have positive stability up to 108 degrees of heat. She's designed to be able to capsize and pitch pool with no harm done to her. More about that in my manifesto that you can find on my site urwin.com and also this text maybe I'm mumbling a bit too much but I put it in the description that you can read it more carefully so thank you for this